Sortium combines blockchain, AI, gaming, and simulations together with innovative ideas to create an immersive experience. So with me is the CEO, Mark Seal, to explain uh, what Sortium is all about. So let's start there, and then I want to get into your background as well. So tell me Perfect. about Sortium. Thank, thank you so much for having me. Um, so Sortium, we, we founded Sortium about a year ago, and the, the goal, the vision of Sortium was taking the culmination of blockchain technology, taking AI, simulation, things that exist separately and are contributing tons of value in their specific segments. Mm -hmm. uh, but the next generation of web, um, even beyond web three and, and industry, which some people may be familiar with the term industry 4.0, okay. is the culmination of these technologies <laughs> functioning mm -hmm. in one system, uh, all for a singular directed purpose. And which we'll discuss in a little bit. My background is in entertainment, um, and my partners have uh, tech backgrounds and various entertainment backgrounds. But we wanted to take the culmination of this technology and develop a system that would really bring entertainment to the next level. Yeah, interesting. Web 4.0. I don't feel like I've totally grasped Web 3 yet. And we're talking about yeah, the next it's, iteration. It's a it's a term mm. that we try to avoid uh, a, a little <laughs> bit because it can get a little sensational. Yeah. yeah. Um, but it it is. It's being developed, right? Mm -hmm. Web Web three, um, and if it's valuable, I could give a two second kind of description of Web one to Web three, yeah, and we yeah, can understand no, how yeah, we go. Absolutely. Uh, I, I like to describe it as Web one was the the beginning of the internet, mm -hmm. right? It was mostly university based. Mm -hmm. You had universities posting articles. You could read them, but you couldn't write to the internet. Web two. That's when we got read write access, mm. and that's that's where we're in now. But that information is currently controlled on a corporate level. You don't own your information. You don't mm. control your information. You don't host it. That's right. It's all done by uh, major corporations that that have their server farms, and they're the ones that have access to all your data. And whether you agree with that or not, that's just the that's the, that's the, the facts what of is. what it is. Yeah. Uh, what Web three brings is the beginning innovations of transitioning ownership of data from corporations and centralized parties to the actual user okay. and decentralized information is stored across a array of people and networks. You, as the owner of your information, is the only one who can control it, can change it, and in some cases, access it. Mm. And blockchain has really made that, ha made that available to happen. Yes, beyond all the sensational news of what blockchain is and cryptocurrency and everything at its fundamental level, Blockchain is an information technology that allows for permanence of data without centralized control of data. Interesting, okay. So Mark, tell me about your background. How did you get involved in blockchain? What brought you to create Sortium? So I've, I've been involved in, I would say blockchain for, for quite some time. That's, that's how I got into the space, started getting involved and interested, and then Throughout my uh, career, which I had a career in, I, I owned a couple of mobile game startups, um, was always into entertainment, mm. and then eventually worked for the Tops company. So I, I had pushed that we needed to do, and we weren't even calling it uh, really NFTs. That, that wasn't like a buzzword or anything at the time. I was like, we need to use blockchain. We need to, even we talked about coming up with our own standard um, before there was some, some really well-defined NFT standards. And they were interested, um, but we, I, did my, mm -hmm. did my job, helped them there, helped them with uh, other licensing through Disney and various other IPs uh, that, that they were managing. And then they wanted to, they finally said, okay, we'll, as some of the hype picked up, they're like, let's, uh, let's do it. So I, I managed the um, creation of the Tops NFT platform, uh, led that team, put it together. That's actually how I met my co-founders mm. uh, in, in Sortium. You were really involved early in this. Yeah, uh, I'm very fortunate to be involved from the start, um, especially very fortunate to help shape some of the, the NFT space. Um, we did, there, there was a popular chain and, and still popular, uh, Wax. We did the first major mm. IP launch on Wax, um, Garbage Pill Kids. Okay. So I, I helped lead the team for doing that launch and then that led into yeah. to everything else. So given all your experience, where do you see blockchain and AI playing a role in humanity? So uh, blockchain and AI, it's, it's almost mandatory that they come together. Mm. Blockchain is your, your permanence and AI is your interpretation of, of uh, outcome. So if you want to trust AI, 
Mm. You need to be able to trust the source that it's telling you and you need to be able to confirm that what the, res the result that you got mm -hmm. is indeed the result you will get every time. So you can determine that there's not a, a flaw in how the system works. Mm -hmm. And you can't truly do that unless you use something like blockchain where your data coming in has a permanence to it and then you can test that permanence to see if you get the same result over and over again. And what about crypto gene? What is, that's uh, something you're launching with Sortium, right? Yes. Explain what that is. So crypto gene is effectively a demonstration of the technology we've built. So we, we've built a technology platform that we call Double Helix and uh, ties into genetics and, and, and everything. So it's the, the kind of the DNA of, of Web3 experiences is how we've, we've framed it. And CryptoGene is a demonstration of all of that. Uh, so we're building a best-in-class example of how to leverage all these technologies together to build really innovative and interactive products. So in CryptoGene, you take the role of a geneticist. And um, are you familiar with Tamagotchis? The old like digital pets that you used to have to feed. Oh yeah, 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 kind of, yeah, vaguely. Um, so, so like Tamagotchis uh -huh. and and Pokemon. Um, I'd say more like Tamagotchis, though, because in CryptoGene, what you do is you play a geneticist, you genetically engineer uh, fantasy creatures, so fantastical fantasy creatures, and you have to raise them, mm. care, grow them first, okay. and raise them, care for them, uh -huh. and eventually you'll you'll battle them in, okay. in fun ways. <laughs> um, and we, it, at the surface level, it's uh, a very fun, kind of cute idea, even though we're, we're gearing it a little more towards the adult fan base, the grown-up Pokemon fans and, okay, yeah. and uh, Tamagotchi fans of, of the past. And um, we're tying really, really sophisticated technology behind this. So anybody familiar in the medical field, and I don't know if you are, uh, CRISPR. Which, oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. So CRISPR is a genetic processing algorithm. And with our simulation system, we're utilizing... CRISPR's DNA algorithm to develop a phenotype and genotype for our creatures, which allows us to then have synthetic DNA that we store on chain. So you can actually prove the genetic makeup of your creature over and over again, and then you can go in later and splice multiple together, uh -huh. do DNA editing, and see how those tests impact your your creature result yeah um, and it's a very sophisticated system of economics where we have there's we use blockchain and and uh, cryptocurrency for um, functional benefit there's there's a it's all on the back end for having a really sophisticated and balanced uh, system behind a fun game that's been developed as an entertainment product yeah. first. No, it's fascinating, actually. And then, so you, you've touched on gaming a little bit. How will gaming and Web3 work together, and how will that look? So I, I think in, um, as I was starting to, to describe, right, the, with the deep integration of these technologies, focusing on building really valuable um, entertainment products first that people want to engage with, because I think there's a lot of pushback right now. You hear a crypto game, and you think of, Somebody wants to buy a bunch of token or a bunch of NFTs and they want to just sell it okay. and make whatever money they can and there's not a lot of entertainment value. But if you start with the entertainment value and you look at what Web3 technology can really provide, you can build these really intricate financial systems behind the game. And in games today, we do a lot of cheating. Mm. And I don't mean cheating on the game, but I mean right. as, a, as developers, um, if a player, if we want to generate an item or say uh, somebody beats a, a bad guy and they get a sword, well, in, if you want to really generate value and allow people to own their content, in real life, that sword had to come from somewhere. Mm. Maybe a merchant, that merchant got metal, mm. that metal had to come from a, a source somewhere. In games, we, we don't do that. We just say, here's a, here's a sword. I see. There's no source all the way back. Right. And it's very hard to say, what's the value of this? You can have the, just de the market demand value, but it's hard to really quantify um, the value and, and track what the future value of an item can be if you don't really know where it came from. Mm -hmm. And in CryptoGene and the way we are implementing Web3 and we want to demonstrate is we can tokenize, um, which is like it's a cryptocurrency, mm -hmm. but it doesn't have to be transacted as one. It's the system using cryptocurrency to balance itself. 
So we tokenize all of these things, that, all the way back to the creation process okay. of, of objects, and even being able to tokenize the player's time. So oh. by having a system that tokenizes effectively everything, uh -huh. allows us to transparently account for the value of things, and then from there we can extrapolate the value of even a game player's time. And the gameplay capabilities for other users to come in and generate that value. That allows them to get value from the user that wants to buy, and from there we can structure the economics in a way that creates upside for the company and, and developers as well. Fascinating. Well, I look forward to hearing more about Sortium when you get it all going and launching the crypto gene as well. So We haven't announced this yet, um, but we are targeting our first crypto gene launch sometime this fall. Okay. All right. We'll look forward to that. Thank you so much, Mark. Yeah. Thank you very much. Yeah, thanks.